the well. Let's talk movies with film critic Josh Bell. It's Friday. It means we got the Bell Breakdown. And right. this weekend, you might want to scare yourself and go see Annabelle Comes Home. You might. It's a horror sequel. I know you like these horror movies, so you were probably scared, right, Josh? I was not scared <laughs> at all, really, uh -oh. during this movie, which is not necessarily, for me, at least, the worst thing in a horror movie. Okay. I think it's not just about can it freak you out. It's about atmosphere. It's about story. It's about character. Mm -hmm. Not that this movie really has much of that either. Uh -oh. um, this is, I think, the seventh movie in the Conjuring universe. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a very popular series and various spin-offs. And people like the Conjuring movies. And this is the third movie starring Annabelle, the evil doll. Although Annabelle herself doesn't do a whole lot. She's not like Chucky. She doesn't run around and uh, she doesn't talk. She just oh. kind of sits there and looks menacing and then bad things happen around her. Okay. So uh, here uh, they're really trying to capitalize more on the Conjuring, the central Conjuring movies. So Vera Farmiga and Patrick Wilson who play the Warrens, the uh, sort of paranormal investigators in those movies, they show up here at the beginning of this movie. They've captured Annabelle. It's just a sort of a prequel to, I think it takes place between the first and second Conjuring movies so they bring Annabelle to their room of <laughs> dangerous paranormal lost, artifacts <laughs> if you'd seen the conjuring okay, movies true, you yes. know what I was talking right. about the point is Annabelle is here in this room of all of these evil uh, objects okay and the daughter of these exorcists uh, she has these teenage babysitters and of the course they go in the room and of course something. they open the door and they let Annabelle oh, out no. and lots of bad stuff uh -oh. happens uh, so it's your standard horror movie stuff there's a lot of sudden loud noises there's a lot of characters with something's behind them and they turn around and then it's not there right. uh, a lot of cliche kind of stuff it's not particularly scary and at this point this franchise is such a machine that it's really just about introducing a bunch of new skills scary creatures that can probably get their own spin-offs. So it. if you love the Conjuring movies, there's a couple moments here that are kind of creepy, but overall this is pretty forgettable. Okay, no to Annabelle <laughs> or middle of the no, road. No, yeah. <laughs> How about this though? This sounds cute. Music, a musical romantic comedy, all three, uh, and it's called Yesterday. What's this about? Yeah, so this is sort of, it's also sort of a science fiction movie. Okay. Um, it is a high concept thing uh, about a musician mm -hmm. who uh, wakes up one day after he gets hit by a bus and he wakes up and all of a sudden he discovers that the Beatles have disappeared from history and he is the only one who remembers <laughs> the Beatles. Oh. So he decides oh, to uh, become okay. successful and famous by performing Beatles songs and passing them off on his own, as, uh, as his own. Mm -hmm. So it's got this interesting concept, what would the world be like if the Beatles never existed? And yet it doesn't really do anything with that as an idea. Instead, it's more of just a framework for this basic romantic comedy. He's got uh, his manager slash best friend played by Lily James and of course she's in love with him and he has to realize it and he becomes super famous by performing these Beatles songs and it's a, a familiar show business movie thing where he's gonna lose sight of his roots and uh -oh. he's gotta realize what's important to, to him. for his britches yeah, and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, so it's a lot of familiar <laughs> stuff. It's cute, it's pleasant. Uh, it does have a lot of Beatles music in it if you like mm. the Beatles, although not quite as much music as you might have guessed from the trailer, but the songs are great, of okay. course. Uh, Himesh Patel, who's a British TV star, is the main actor here. He's charming, he's got good chemistry with Lily James. But I think if you thought this was a fascinating idea, it's really just not exploring it as well as it could. All right, good reviews there. Well, bad reviews for good reviews. <laughs> yeah, Interesting intake. Somewhat <laughs> positive, at least on yesterday. Maybe check it out. Exactly. All right, you'll be back next week on Wednesday to review Spider-Man? Yeah. Yes, it's a okay. big holiday weekend. I've got Spider-Man and a new horror movie called Midsummer next All week. Right. Thanks, Josh. We'll see you next week for the Bell Breakdown. We'll be back.